What's going on you guys? So another Lenovo Think Center M900. Gonna be upgrades. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna be upgrading uh Soul State Drive 512 gigs. Uh, I got an extra RAM. This is a two uh, eight gig sticks and i7 CPU 6700. I got to use and I got a new video card, NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030. Uh, it's gonna be low profile. slide to the left so first you're gonna do is you're gonna move the front cover basil okay, so what I'm gonna do is you see right here there's a little clip you press it down like this you're gonna slide now what I will do is I'm gonna move the solid state drive here it's got a plastic caddy and just connect the SATA power cable. It's got a 256 solid state drive. And I'm gonna try to remove the screws here. This is a this metal bracket here is a this is from three and a half inch two and a half inch caddy but if you remove this you can install three and a half inch uh, hard drive here Install only one way, like this, and we're gonna flip it. So, guys, uh, the next video I'll do is uh, gonna be a teardown for this model. I'll upload separately. You guys can watch the video. Install back. So guys, I forgot to tell you is that uh, you can also buy this caddy. It's a Dell caddy, plastic. So basically you can install like this, have a two and a half inch hard drive. And the other side, you can have two and a half inch solid state drive. And just, you have to use a Y splitter cable like this. Power, say the power cable here, Y splitter. Then buy another set of cable. Then you can have for for main boot drive solid state drive and this would be extra for the extra storage you can have like you can go one terabyte or two terabytes they have two and a half inch just like a laptop hard drive and this will work fine i'll put in the link in the description you guys can buy this caddy this is a dell part number and will work fine with this just install like that works and fits but i actually don't need it because i just need only 512 gigs it's gonna be enough for me install this caddy back I'm gonna connect the SATA power cable back. So what I will do now is remove the, see this plastic piece? This is a fan shroud here. What this does is it actually directs the airflow, this little piece. And 
I need a flathead screwdriver. So you see this bracket right here doesn't come off. So you're gonna take a screwdriver flathead right here. And I'm gonna go around like this. Yep. And it opens. Okay. So to move the VD card, guys, this will be in this little clip here in the corner. You have to use your finger, press it down, and yeah, lift the VD card. If you guys are asking about the VD card, this is a NVIDIA NVS510. Basically, it supports up to four monitors. This is a, with the low-profile bracket. If you want to buy it, I'll put a link in the description. And this, uh, so what I will do is I will remove the CPU fan. And disconnect the CPU cooler heatsink. And then do a CPU upgrade. It's got an i5-6500 in here now. And I'm upgraded to i7-6700. It's a, i7 is a four core with eight threads CPU, six gen. And to do that, I need to grab a credit card and extra napkin. So basically, first I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rubbing alcohol, 91% napkin, it's like this. Wipe this down. Also, if you guys uh, have, I'll have a lot of people ask me a question. Uh, if your CPU cooler heatsink is stuck to the CPU, then the only way you can remove it is you gotta use a hair dryer, go around it like this, and that will allow you to remove the CPU cooler heatsink if it's stuck. If it's a, sometimes so dry that it sticks to the CPU, you can't remove it. So you just have to use a hair dryer. So it looks like it doesn't remove. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a credit card like this and go around like that. I'll scrape it off. around the alcohol. I'm trying to wipe it off. Now Yeah, this is the CPU, the CPU i7 6700, and the way you guys, the way you see it like this, that's why uh, this is the way you can install it. And if you guys have a question, do I have to update the BIOS? You actually do not have to. It worked fine. You just lift it up gently like this, and you install the CPU. I'll put this one back. Bag. Now is I need to upgrade the RAM. It's got eight gigs in here. You're gonna see the press this down like this, little tabs, and they're gonna add, add eight more gigs, so it'll be total 16 gigs of RAM. It's the DDR4 actually. The RAM on here 
is a PC2400, PC4 2400. So it's got a total of 16 gigs of RAM. Now, I will take Gonna have to apply a small amount. That's good enough. I'm gonna wipe this off. If you guys were asking what kind this is, this is I'm using a Cool Master Ice Fusion. But you can use a Arctic. Uh, you guys can use an Arctic MX4. I do recommend. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy it. I'm gonna show you guys the two. You guys can just go online and buy this. You have the uh, MX4, this is a 20 grams. And if you guys are just only one PC upgrade, just so buy a four grams. And I do recommend this is like the best one. They sell through Amazon. Install the back. Don't forget, you're gonna connect this CPU fan header back to the motherboard. If you guys are asking what size of the fan, this is an 80 millimeter fan in here. And the front system fan is also 80 millimeter. I'm gonna go around and double check again. Good. Now, guys, I'll install the VD card. And don't forget, guys, I'm using the, with the GDDR5 RAM. I'm using two gigs because they do make with the DDR4, but this is a GDDR5. That's the one you want. They sell it through Amazon, and also you will be low profile bracket you have to use. It's a pretty good video card, you can play some games with it. Uh, actually, if you guys have a question, the power supply in here is a 220 watt, so GTX 1650 or the 1050, it's gonna be too low. The power supply is way too low. It's gonna be, I would say, minimum 240, but this guy's 210 watt. So I would say uh, GT 1030 or any other low end, like a video call like this will work fine. But GTX 1650 low profile, it's gonna, it's not gonna work with this. It's just very low power supply, the watts. And if you guys were asking me, so this one, the top one is a PCI Express times 16. The, the middle one is a PCI Express times one. And the bottom one looks like a, this is a PCI, it looks like a PCI Express times 16, but it's actually PCI Express times four. This one right here, the bottom one. So don't forget. You close this up like this. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna lift this down. See this, press the, you're gonna take your finger right here, press this down, little clip, and it comes down. And actually you don't have to remove the front cover basil. Perfectly fine. 
try to lock it back in. Okay. If you guys were asking me, what about the what kind of operating system support? So it will support Windows 10 and you can also will support Windows 11. So you can install it back to the French route. show you guys the back and this is how it's gonna look like the video card HDMI port and DVI port this got the I forgot to tell you guys this is display ports basically if you don't have a monitor display port you can buy uh, like this adapter see right here display port to HDMI I'll put a link in the description they sell them through Amazon and you can buy cable through Amazon from DisplayPort to HDMI cable. You can use. See so you guys. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.